You can populate your charts with either data from Yahoo or from your disk uh, with ASCII files. Uh, in this case, we're going to Yahoo and we're going to import, import this oil ETF. Uh, you can select how many days back you want to go up to uh, 500. And we'll just uh, select 300 here. And 300 calendar days back is about 184 trading days. The price multiplier uh, enables you to multiply the raw price by uh, either 0 0.01 up to 1,000. And that's primarily for the uh, roadmap charts. Uh, when you're set to go, you click OK. And within a second or several seconds, your chart is populated. And you can swap between mm -hmm. candle and high-low close bars uh, anytime you want. If you have the crosshair cursors like you see here and you place the cursor where you want to start zooming from, press the left mouse button and you can uh, zoom the chart to any section. You can scroll left and right, uh, up and down, or if you uh, press these points on the horizontal or vertical scroll bars uh, you can return the chart to normal size. We're going to open a new chart window and we're going to go to the local ASCII setting. We'll choose this old SPY CSV chart. And you get this dialog. And what's happening here is that the first several lines of the uh, data file are displayed on the screen. We've separated the fields in the file uh, with these little bars so that you can determine what each field consists of. And the concept is that you have to match the fields uh, precisely with your file fields. In this case, the first file field is the date. So we'll select date. And this file is set up open, high, low, and close. Next, you have to match your date format in the file precisely with the uh, date format strings from the selection here. And this is the proper one here. Uh, this file has a header and we want to ignore the header lines so we'll ignore one header line. The reverse data checkbox enables you to reverse the order of the data because sometimes it comes uh, with the most recent date first and that would plot that on the left side of the chart and uh, you don't want that. So in this case we're going to click the reverse data. Uh, if your fonts are uh, too small for uh, you, you can click the uh, large size or minimize them with the small size and sometimes that's important when you have these uh, uh, tremendously long uh, files. You can determine how many bars to load and here also you have the price multiplier. Uh, when you're set to go you just click OK and your chart is populated and all the uh, usual functionality exists. You can swap between candlesticks and bars at any time. Uh, you can go through the windows. Uh, you can tie your charts uh, vertically, uh, horizontally, or cascade them. And the arrange icons arranges the icons at the bottom of the screen so that if you want to expand a chart at a, at a later date uh, or at a later time you can. Okay, we'll cover the ASCII formats in a little more detail in another video, but this is the basic lay of the land for how to populate your charts with data.